I just got to Mexico City, yay. I really like this city. I'm gonna be showing you what I like best about it. Hour and a half flight from Puerto Vallarta. Beautiful architecture, amazing food. I'm at uh, one of my favorite places. It's right across the street from the hotel I'm staying in. I discovered it last time. I stayed here six days and loved it. Um, there's lots to see in this city. It's bigger than New York. So I'll be showing you what's going on. Good to be back. Yum. Oh. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my god. Delicioso. It's fun to go to grocery stores to find out all the stuff you don't know about. <laughs> but they got good. One of the reasons I like this hotel is it's just about a two minute walk from this grocery store. They got plenty. Oh, they got. It's funny here without um, yogurt that's natural. It says on the front without sugar. And then you look at the ingredients and there's seven grams of sugar. It's funny. Anyway, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to walk to the coffee place and buy a banana. I'm at Plantasia, a vegetarian place. I've got some pretty groovy things. You keep forgetting there's no meat or fish. <laughs> I'll show you what I got. This is a very walkable city, Rio uh, Park de Janeiro in Roma, which is a great place to go on the weekend, especially there's this great little, not really a flea market, people are selling more arty kinds of things. And then of course I had to check in with the young ones, if you ever want to feel more brave. <laughs> see what they're doing this was in my neighborhood in San Rafael which I highly recommend staying there it's more of a business type location look at this food delicious breakfast First time having a pork taco and double espresso for breakfast. Um, and let me tell you about the pork taco. So this was interesting. He held up, he wanted to know what piece of the pig to give me. <laughs> and I couldn't identify any of the pieces he was showing me. So I said K and chose the back because he said it was good, and it was. It was darn good, that pork taco. It was basically two for a little over a dollar. So I'm pretty full. I'm going to go on a walk. So if they show you parts of a pig and you don't know what it is, um, some of them look pretty strange. I've never been able to identify parts such as that, but it was delicious and very tender. Street food in Mexico City, wow. If I was going to live in Mexico City, I would live in Roma neighborhood, where I am right now. Feels really safe. Lots of trees here. Great places to have coffee. My chocolate hazelnut cake is arriving soon. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm trying to um, not be too naughty, but it's hard here. Um, but how can I say no to chandeliers and chocolate cake? So, it's coming now. Oh boy. Hola. Hola. Oh, nice. Bonita. Azúcar? No. 
Gracias. Yum. Oh boy. Mmm. Oh my god. So it's this chocolate creamy on top with hazelnut crust on the bottom. I don't really care that it's 10,000 calories. Not one bit. I'm being naughty. <laughs> Many of the dogs here wear clothing. <laughs> I'm not being judgy, I'm just making a comment. There's just so many coffee places, trees everywhere in Condessa and Roma, and beautiful architecture, stunning photos and paintings of Frida Kahlo. Look at this mural. This town feels like Buenos Aires in some neighborhoods. It just hit me. I'm loving it, walking around in the sunshine in a nice neighborhood with tons of trees. One of my favorite pastimes, taking pictures of architecture. Love it. Walking around my hood, papaya and orange juice fresh. Guess how much this was? Dollar fifty. A lot to like about Mexico. And listen to this. So for one load of wash that I do myself in California, it's about eight bucks in a coin laundromat. Guess what it is here? I don't have to do it. And it's less than three dollars to have somebody else do it. I'm gonna get used to that. So I'm in Condesa, Condesa neighborhood. Just think about uh, Countess. <laughs> it's the royal neighborhood. Um, and you're really safe here. Look, they even got security guards and parks. How cool is that? So this is probably the ritziest neighborhood in Mexico City. You're gonna find uh, security guards and parks, Starbucks, all the eateries and good food you could possibly want. Isn't this cool how they have this whole park-like setting in the middle of the traffic? How cool is that? So there's been a good design happening here in this city. Uh, which I'm really impressed with. So if you wanted to come to Mexico City, this would be a good neighbor to stay in, neighborhood. You don't even need a car. In fact, I recommend not getting a car because you're gonna be paralyzed in traffic for about 50% of the time. Um, walking is better. You can do it with Uber, but remember, you're still gonna be in traffic. So, Saturday night in Condesa, whoa. I highly recommend this city if you're thinking of coming. I didn't have a bad meal here. And the design element and the artiness and the offerings of food and wine in different restaurants, beautiful architecture. Everyone has a dog here which makes it easy to talk to people. And everywhere you look, another place to try and eat the food. If you have any questions about Mexico City, let me know. Because this second time was even better. I went and did some things I hadn't done before. I would like to have the courage to ride a bicycle here, but the traffic is too crazy. So walking has been my go-to. Art especially, they have an art in the park in my neighborhood in San Rafael. And fun to look at everything very walkable city i think you'll love it